What is the matrix? The real matrix. You've probably all seen the movie. But did you know that it's real? So, there's many levels that it's real on. So what is in the Matrix movie? There's really um, a couple of main components that make that movie the Matrix. And make what is in the Matrix the Matrix. So, the Matrix. <laughs> you have surveillance, ultimately. And surveillance which is so excessive that it's used to control and restrict the freedom of each human. In such a way that they're not even walking around the real world anymore. Their, their minds exist only in their minds. And people don't know that the brain and our current capacity exists... In the same way it exists in the matrix when they're wired up to the matrix system. What I'm talking about is you have um, the reality that you perceive. Okay? It's all in your head. It's in your brain. And your brain is keeping a local a copy of everything that it thinks is happening. So, now in the matrix... They bypass the fact that normally you have to, a human has to see something and uh, go up and, you know, touch it. And, or, you know, there's some stimulus coming. Actually, what everything is, is stimulus coming through the nerves um, and going to your brain. And I don't even care to go into how that works. That's way complex. But you can bypass the real world and simply send the signal through your brain, okay? So in the Matrix, they're actually living exactly as they would in the real world. The brain's just kind of been by, you know, I mean, I guess the body's senses have been bypassed, you know, and they're still experiencing things as they would in reality. Um... The Matrix also had... So, the surveillance is actually the machines. Okay. And inside the computer that was wired up to each of these brains, it was creating a world that was actually a computer program or data and instruction. It could have been on a quantum level, like our own brain. So, the... the the matrix, could have, you know, is much like a brain of its in itself. It's a quantum mechanic world that you're in, and you're connecting to it, and your brain's being influenced by it and sending signals into it. And a really cool thing. Um, but inside the matrix program, we'll just call it a program. We'll go. We'll, we'll ignore what would allow that world to exist. And, um, let's, oh, and by the way, your brain is a world of itself. It's amazing. It's, it's literally the world is in your brain. Okay. I want you to understand that part. Your brain, you don't actually see the wall when you see it. Your brain is making you think you see it. Okay. And without your brain doing that, uh, and yeah, and sure, the nerves in your eyeballs are being stimulated, and that's triggering certain things to make you think you see it. But, um, okay, but the world truly only exists in your brain. Your brain is constructing all this crap that makes you see a world that's whole, complete, working, functioning, has a past, and names, and different things, and it looks like it goes together, and you can't really see the, the quantum levels of things, uh, the energies and the particles and that that's all the world is around you and that there is no actual life, okay? There's just energies and particles and that's it. And it's so small, but we don't even see it with our brain. 
Okay. All right. And the, the thing, by the way, the nerves are detecting a lot of this. And that's why you can sense things and feel things. You feel these particles and energies altering signals and altering energies and altering particles. And that's all you feel. And the particles don't touch. The energies affect each other, though. And that's why you can feel things. Okay, and you could see things. <laughs> and the nervous system, really complex. It's just, I mean, it's so complex. There's just so many billions of things happening inside a, a neuron that little building blocks moving around and things being stored by reordering things and magnetic things happening. DNA does it too. And cells do it. And it's so cool. Okay. But in the matrix, the matrix is partly surveillance. Okay. Because inside the matrix, everything what was called a program. Everything was available about what was happening there to say the agents. <laughs> Agents um, weren't real. They're probably some big, let's call it a dragnet system that knew everything about everything because there's a, va a memory value, some memory va uh, variable, hopefully somewhere that could be accessed. But that's in a normal traditional computer system. It's the quantum world. There might not be any trace or link to that memory state somewhere. Okay. So who, who, who knows how this is really constructed, but. A lot of things were very available because when you, you had them wire or tap in the matrix, they'd see all this code on the screen, right? Green code, letters going around the screen and everything. Usually rolling down. It looked really cool, right? And someone would go, oh, it's a girl in a red dress right there. And I don't even see code anymore, right? Well, guess what? Um, that was all form of surveillance that was going on there. And apparently the code was available. And it was code versus some quantum state that uniquely existed somewhere in this world that was being made. So, um, um, so you have the surveillance going on. All this information is being observed. Sure, they, they set it in motion to work on its own mostly inside the movie, in the program, to give these people a world to live in. Um... But there was surveillance going on there. And people were watching it from the outside, inside it. They're like, you know, they're watching things, okay? So in the real world, let me tell you this about the DOD, Department of Fucking Defense. They've built a surveillance dragnet for the whole fucking world. And ACL has a nice video that goes with this. I, I don't know. It's from this year. I don't know the name of it. It's on YouTube. Um... But what it, what it shows is that people don't know that people are being tracked. And they know when a person is at a house, when they leave the house, approximate times. They know when who's all in the house together. And they know where they, they are in their car, in the street. And all this information. And they know information about each person. It's all in the system. Well, that's just, this is kind of like the Matrix and people don't know it. And when you're looking at one of their computer screens, it's all classified. It's all hidden. And this is just one way that this, the matrix is similar. But the agents actually end up being the police, and the NSA, and the CIA, FBI, and the military, and the DIA, and uh, Air Force, and Navy, and uh, certain state employees because their privileged little unions are working alongside all this, and they get intelligence they keep to themselves. Okay, and you have senators and congressmen and governors and presidents. Okay, they're all hooked up into this. And they know everything. Okay, and the latest Slashdot article was talking about 12 triple three. One, that's only one of the executive orders allowing this program to operate. And there's also some laws. And there's also some FISA court warrants. And there's some bullshit like that. Um, but triple, the 12 triple three apparently allows all this to be done in secret with no one's permission, no matter what. And that's Ronald Reagan's executive order. And, uh, there's been some stuff on the internet about that and how that's the, from 1980 something it was signed. And that's what's really governing all this spying. And apparently all data is being saved 
in violation of the Constitution. And the, the saving of information is really just a way of having memory about the world. So things cannot be forgotten. We're, we're building in systems that have memory. Because normally the only memory state is just the fact that you have a particle somewhere or an energy level somewhere. Or in a human brain, we have what's memory. And then we have computer, which is memory. But otherwise, there's no memory of the universe. Okay. All right. And so we've been building systems that kind of record things. And now we have, we're, we're building in the system to the telephones, internet, satellites, which are recording images from space. Okay. And then you have cameras and other sensors. We had to invent a lot of types of sensors to do all this. Um, and this information is all being saved irrespectively so that it's available and so that there's a memory of the fucking world okay and they had to invent new technologies to allow every type of thing to be tappable including the human brain and this is where the matrix stuff comes in it's really interesting did you know that they invented a brain computer interface and that in the matrix they're using a brain computer interface to get into people's minds and rig them up and lock them down and we have that technology today Okay, so this brain computer interface technology is long range. Instead of putting it right there in your brain or hooking a chip up to you, they invented a satellite system with very high resolution optics. Okay, and something called interferometry allows your brain waves to be copied and observed remotely. It's called remote sensing. And every person is being observed with it. These satellites are actually tr watching you from space. And they can see all the signals being generated in your body. Okay, these energy states in your, your matter. Okay. And you have electrons. These are generating electromagnetic fields. Okay. And as things are going on in your brain and your body, you're giving off signals. And these signals apparently can be decoded. Okay. So you have nerve impulse and brain decoders. And the satellites are this big, huge net up in space, hundreds of them. And on the ground, they have things called a harp type arrays. Huge 33 acre fields, okay, of antennae that also help, okay? And so these things uh, are connected to the satellites, beaming signals up to the satellites, allowing focused communications. And on the ground, they can work through the ionosphere across the country. So they might bounce radiation off the ionosphere down into a person's body. They could do radar imaging and stuff on a person. And maybe some of our energy bounces back down too. I don't know. Or maybe it's amplified so they'll send some signals at us. And then that uh, return signal is read. So, so there's radar involved and there's satellites. And the satellites do the same thing too. So what I'm trying to say is there's more, more than one way to do this, and all these ways are being used. Which way is their preferred way, or what they actually know? Probably the satellites. <clears throat> and we know that there's 25 harp-type arrays all over, and sea and land, and they're huge, and they're very high resolution, okay? And then we have all these satellites up in space. They're orbiting us. All right, and they're all over the globe. They're not just the United States. So what's going on is they've invented a way to plug into our brain from space. And now they're, just like in the Matrix, they're able to do things to people. But it's not quite in the same level as uh, just putting them in a virtual world. But the things that they're doing include spying on all your thoughts. What you, you see, hear, and think, and feel, what you're... You're experiencing in your world all your memories, okay? And so that helps them. And I don't think it's for criminal justice. I don't think it's for preventing anything. It's for control. Um, certain people can be picked off in this system. Um, I wanted to describe this as something like the Matrix because on the side that they're on, they're seeing stuff. They're seeing, oh, red girl walking down the street. They're seeing that. They're seeing information about how she has an STD. Or they're seeing something about how she's a, a prostitute, even though she hasn't told anyone and they haven't seen it um, any other way than through the surveillance system. Or there's, you know, there's, no, you know, they're not, not like right there 
to see it with their own eyes or have someone tell them about it, right? But they know it. <laughs> they know these things about everybody. It's all available to them. But they do have a way of doing things kind of like in the Matrix. And people don't know it. Invading people's bodies, assaulting them. And they can direct energy into a person's brain. And heterodyne signals and mess with your particles. And introduce signals that shouldn't be there. It's the same as overriding signals from your own particles. With the signals coming from the satellites. Okay? Coming into your brain. They can induce images, uh, bring in sound, uh, they can uh, make you feel or hear something, or they can actually do what's called EEG cloning. An agent could be an FBI agent who's hooked up to this thing. He's having his brain read, the EEG signatures then uh, decoded, and some of those uh, signals from his brain are then re-encoded, unique for my brain, and beamed right in. That's called EEG cloning, so I could sense him. And maybe they'll they'll kind of change, you know, they'll put a visual of him in my visual cortex so I could see him and it'll be just like he's there, but then I'm feeling him. And uh, maybe feeling what he's thinking or, you know, some communication is done with thought. It's beamed into my head. Okay? And there's a patent for this. 1974, Robert Malik patent for a military radar that reads and alters brainwaves. And guess what? They put it into use in 1976. It's been there the whole time. Um, there's some called special access programs, which is another uh, executive order that lets them create any program, except instead of putting in an executive order, it's it's just some general wording that lets them create any program. And they keep it secret to themselves. And it's not documented anywhere. Okay? And special access program, there's it's not in the law. There's no law that sets up the program. There's Like I said, it's not there either. It's only the people who set it up know about it. And um, it's usually the military. It could be the FBI. It could be CIA. Whoever. It's all there for them to do that. The president can do it in different directors at different agencies. Okay? And different people that they designate. A special X program is where they're hiding a lot of this too because they can create any program or system they want, including a weapons program. If they wanted to be able to attack citizens and, you know, do it in secrecy or whatever and not get in trouble for it, well, they set up a special access program, I guess. Or they just do it, you know. Um, but they can spy on people with it, too. And Russell Tyson, one of the whistleblowers, NSA, he's been talking about how in special access programs they set up and use satellites on people uh, during investigations and uh, like Dick Cheney would order them to go spy on a congressman or a lawyer, uh, groups of them, lots of lawyers and newspapers and banks and other people were investigated and spied on. Okay, and that's what they're doing. Their technology, uh, there's a lot of other capabilities too. It's not just the brain that's targeted, but signals from devices, both wired and wireless devices. And I'm not talking about through the internet or Wi-Fi. You, there's emissions coming from your devices, your RAM your CPU, your buses, uh, your telephone lines, your copper, your fucking ethernet, all that shit is tappable with radar and satellites. They just copy the signal in and feed it through a little emulated USB bus to get all the data from hundreds of freaking miles away. Or they'll freaking copy your DRAM, identical. They, they can nab a lot of, they can bypass a lot of security procedures and uh, things that are inside the hardware. Like over the internet, if something's encrypted, they'll copy a certificate or some piece of information from the systems themselves. <laughs> and this is the, the level they're working on and nobody knows it. So they have building penetrating tomography, scan through your clothes, scan your heart. They see your heart beating from space. That's how fucking crazy it is. They have, like I said, there's some called interferometry on these things. So they could beam down uh, electromagnetic waves or microwaves or whatever and scan your brain, your body. And microwaves in different frequencies and electromagnetic waves interact with the waves and the particles, okay, that are on the ground, letting them image everything. And they got high resolution, just like uh, better than an MRI of everything happening 
or better than an EEG. And um, EEGs are limited to the little pads that are detecting billions of uh, neurons. Their signals or their satellites are focusing on the individual neurons, pinpointing where they want to get a signal reading. And it's so much higher resolution. And that's why they're able to decode the brain as well as they do and everything that's inside of it. And this type of precision is only available in the satellites. It's not inside of a hospital. They don't have this type of technology there. They keep it out of the hospital. There's something called ESR and a couple of technologies related to imaging electrons. It's kind of like MRI, but for electrons. And it might work. They have it in some hospitals or some experimental places somewhere, some military places. Um, it's kind of like what they got. Except theirs is up in satellites. Who runs the satellites? NSA runs them, Air Force, Navy, NRO runs them, FBI, DOJ. I mean, it doesn't even matter who runs them because <laughs> there's so many up there no one really knows who runs them all. And no one's tracing this, no one's watching it, but there's a lot of people letting it go on. And so, uh, so in the Matrix, you know how in the Matrix the agent would invade another person and take over their body? Government could do that with this technology. And it's also like being wired up in the Matrix too as a victim and a target. If you're being victimized with this technology, you're suddenly having your whole world altered and messed with, with by a computer taking you out of reality. A lot of torture happens too. I mean, they can do things with radiation, hurt you, cut you, beat you, um, mind control, torture you, psychologically torture you, alter your memories, damage things, remove your humanity, uh, menticide, other things. It's an interrogation technique too. The number one thing they love to do is run chatterbots that just keep talking in a person's head and then there's more than just chatterbots, so it's not just voices, it's not just text. They like you to feel emotions that are generated. They like you to feel sensations on your body that are generated. And they'll focus on your body and they'll focus on your brain. And just keep doing it. These are called chatterbots. Uh, and the CIA had chatterbots back in the 80s, very sophisticated ones. And they tested them, and there was a recent article on Slashdot about it. Um, some transcripts were released of a chatterbot interacting with a CIA agent, testing it on itself. And the chatterbot seemed to be smart. It knew how to respond. Their technology is advanced, and it knows how to respond. It knows how to read every little thing. Not just the voice, not just the text communication, but the emotional communication, the things going on in your brain. It's all read and interpreted fucking awesomely. Images... And they've got AI, by the way, scanning everything that they, they save. I'm talking about emails, sound, voice conversations, visuals. It scans and identifies objects and knows exactly what everything is for them. And it scans people's brains, okay? Scans it fast. It pulls out thoughts really fast. That's all done for them. And it's mostly automated. And if they want certain information, they can get it. And sort through your brain and all this other information that they have on every American and every other person on the world very fast. And there's so there's a real matrix system in place built by the military and our government that's in place today. And there's 10,000 victims. And if you want to find more information about this, go to Obama'sWeapon.com. Um, look up targeted individuals turns out that there's a lot of people have been victimized by this and uh, it's all being suppressed because there's people that know it's happening. There's police officers, there's uh, senators and congressmen, FBI, they just won't do anything because they're able to keep it secret because, you know, they could do whatever they want with it and no one even knew it existed for a long time. Certain people do know it exists though, state employees, uh, like I said, and governors and different people, they just don't want it exposed. It's all classified and secret. They don't care if anyone gets hurt with it either. Just like when a police officer beats someone up and or uh, uh, shoots someone. And that they don't go to jail later or don't go to prison. Okay? They're all on a privileged level above the public. 
They don't get in trouble for these things. And they know secrets. They might retaliate if they got in trouble. Because they know all the secrets. And they've got buddies everywhere. They're union, unionized. Got union crap all over the place. There's sheriff's association. Police unions. Fucking groups. You know. State employee unions. And then military and different groups and FBI, they're all together, man. They're all buddies. This is a weapon to control the public. We're living in it today. It's only going to get worse. And if you become a victim of it, you can't do nothing to get help. You can search the internet and there's only 10,000 victims. Okay, there's people with blogs all over the place. You find these people. Some of, some of them are legit, okay? Dr. Robert Duncan's a government whistleblower, DOD, CIA, DOJ, NASA. He came forward about this. It's all real. He's been on TV. He's been on radio. He wrote books. Look it up. Matrix is Cyber, Project Soul Catcher. He was on Coast to Coast, December 5th, 2006. He's on Jesse Ventura, Conspiracy Theory, Brain, Epi uh, Brain Inventors episode, December 17th, 2012. Uh, CIA Mark Phillips, uh, MK Ultra, Mind Control stuff. Back then, that was a program of beating the public up, fucking them up, testing things on them, okay? Doing whatever they wanted, putting them in cages, raping them, dosing them with radiation, hundreds of thousands of victims. Okay, we've been through all this before. It never stopped. It never stopped. We've had Cointelpro. We've had MKUltra. We've had NSA programs from 70 years ago and 60 years ago and 50 years ago, okay? None of this ever fucking stopped. When church committee investigated, it didn't stop. When, uh, you know, things happen. When whistleblowers came out, it never stopped. Whistleblowers never make a difference because the government doesn't give a fuck. They're all in it together. Okay? And that that's also the, the system that's against us. They have agents everywhere. Okay? It's us against them. It's just like the Matrix. And the, it's also stealthily like the Matrix. Okay? You don't know that they know. The people around you. The district attorneys are in it too, by the way. They're, and there's various private or attorney, attorney organizations too involved in public defenders even. There's people involved. It's the ultimate setup if you get caught in this system. And people don't want to get caught. And they don't want to help you. And they won't expose it. I'm not saying that's true for all like public defenders or... You know, some people in government are whistleblowers. But we've had whistleblowers. They can't do anything. Okay. And they haven't been able to. Although they could have taken it steps further. I mean, Duncan won't go to the New York, New York Times. And we tried to get him to. Because we got a reporter lined up. Uh, a famous reporter. But he's afraid of going to prison, he says. He's doing things as much as he can to... But Trying to avoid going to prison. He doesn't want to assassinated by the government either. They'll do that too. They'll kill him if if they... I mean, they're watching him, right? He's a government whistleblower. They know everything he really thinks. And what he's going to do. What he's doing. If, if he was really a danger, they'd kill him. And... Our, there's weird stuff going on. There's a lot of suppression, a lot of deception. By... Um, yeah, so let me finish up that deception thing. Um, and they've used this weapon system on people before and other things. Buildings, weather control, atmosphere, um, messing with creating tornadoes, World Trade Center. Go to drjudywood.com. It's a secret. She's got a lawsuit she filed back in 2007. Describes the weapon that I just told you about inside of it in the lawsuit. It's on her website if you search. You might search Dr. Judy Wood. World Trade Center lawsuit or WTC lawsuit. Make sure Dr. Judy Wood is mentioned in the Google search term. You'll find it right there on our site and you read it. Of course, the judge didn't. He just dismissed it, refused to have a hearing or jury trial. So that means, that just means that it wasn't even proven untrue because the judge didn't have a trial. And she was trying to sue the government for making false claims that it was uh, the plane smacking into the building that did it and not a directed energy thing after the planes hit in a controlled demolition. 
The military's got the weapon to do it, we know that. Look at the strategic defense initiative, it mentions several types of weapons that could do it. X-ray, laser, and different um, directed energy devices. So what they'll do is they'll just focus energy and location of the building, and on a building that size, they'll destroy it within 12 seconds. Dustify it, turn it to dust. That's what they did. Nobody even knows it. But she does have a book with lots of equations and evidence in it. I believe that book because I know the weapon is out there. I know it's being used. I've seen things happen in the sky. Um, I've seen uh, clouds being uh, manipulated with energy. I've seen them stirring clouds, shaping clouds. Uh, they're, if you get on the internet, you find lots of images. And you look up in the sky, you see a lot of chemtrails dumping chemicals in the sky. Apparently it's part of this, um, like it helps with some of the weather manipulation and atmospheric manipulations. Makes it more conductive, the atmosphere and different things that they're doing. Someone says something about, uh, that they can, uh, that this is supposed to be to like reflect radiation from like the sun or whatever. I don't think that's true. I think it's mostly about helping them uh, with controlling the atmosphere and doing their energy weapons tests and stuff. And they're just all over the world, those chemtrails, all over. And there's a look at this one group on Facebook called Why Are They Spraying or something like that is what it's called. And they're just collecting all these images of chemtrails in the sky. What, what's going on is chemtrails are planes. When they're flying, they're, they're spraying out uh, stuff. Uh, compounds and stuff into the atmosphere there's lots of video of it too um it's all part of this weather manipulation thing and geoengineering and uh maybe even making harp and uh, satellites more effective i've also seen sandstorms on the ground you know, those can be created with this because it can levitate particles off the ground and do all sorts of cool things uh, when a human's target, they'll heat and chill your body, um, you know, simulate massage on you, they can hurt you, create sound waves, light waves, orbs, uh, tamper with your brain. Police use this too. If they want to send a secret communication to a police officer, right to his head, untraceable, and helps them control situations. Because everyone's on the same page and no one knows how. If they want to lie, there's a way to do it. <laughs> Through the <this> system. <clears throat> and of course, they'll all lie about it. They'll never admit that they're using it. So you have no way of knowing that they're using it. You know, with this technology, I can actually just think that I, am a, you know, I need to know how many people are on the other side of this house. And this technology, or the police officer or whoever needs to know, would know right away be beamed right in their head and that's how fucking crazy this technology is but you know i just want to let you know it's used for a lot of criminal things you know it's not like you know that's why it's not in court how come it's not used in court where they could prove a person's not guilty prove they're guilty or even convict a government agent who won't uh admit to what they did or and you know and all the evidence was destroyed you know that's why this tech just technology isn't in court, <laughs> and it's not really used for criminal justice, okay? Innocent people get set up with it. That's what it's really about, being able to do secret things and uh, maintain this covert control and this control that can't be shut down. And that's why police officers don't go to jail when they sold or beat someone up or murder them, okay? Obamasweapon.com Just go there. It's all real. Everything on the site's real. And we're living in a true fucking matrix. I'm in the matrix. I'm fighting government agents. They're stalking me. They got stalking programs too. So what they'll do with the people stalking, they're all rigged up with this technology. They all know. And their f the military wants to keep me in control, so they'll follow me everywhere. And they can 
you know, they know that I'm thinking about going to the hospital. The hospital is, of course, rigged into the military industrial complex. Doctors, different people of interest and special people, corrupt people. They have a way of controlling select individuals. Okay. So if you get hurt by this, of course, you're not going to get help from most hospitals. They'll think you're, they'll, they'll just basically frame you to look crazy if you go in. They'll abuse you. And the military has full control over these places. Uh, they'll know your name. They'll know who you are. They'll be watching for you when you go there and stuff. That's how it works. And I'm not talking about <laughs> like they're waiting to greet you. They're, they're looking. And they know that you're coming. And they know they secretly feel bad maybe even about what they're doing. They feel aggressive towards you. They want you dead. They, they've probably been involved in this stuff for years and years. And as I travel around the country, this program is set up way before me. It started in 2008 when I got targeted with it. And I was getting spied on during a CRIPA, U.S. DOJ CRIPA investigation at the State Hospital in Oregon. Okay? I got all the reports about that. They're using this technology to spot the hospital. They're watching people in the building illegally. Staff are using this. I'm set up because the state's lack of liability insurance. There's all the crimes being recorded and... DOJ doesn't give a fuck. FBI, state police, they all managed to shut this down, prevent me from exposing it. It's caught on security equipment at the state hospital. Staff members talk about the technology outside the building. It was used to focus on just me, watching me in the shower when there's no cameras or microphones or shouldn't be. Um, List my phone calls, everything. The staff member were commenting on all this on the hallway. That's how it was recorded because there's microphones recording their conversations. And they were... Uh, making a lot of slip-ups and thinking they were going to get caught because I had caught them and documented the dates and times on a security video. And I sent this email with all the dates and times to FBI, governor's office, internal administrators, uh, DHS administrators, superintendent, abuse protection agencies, okay, state police. Boom. <laughs> it was all there. And I caught it all. And then they tried to kill me with the technology. That's when they first targeted with me. They targeted me with flooding my body with radiation. I calcium efflux. Calcium efflux is when your body... And there's calcium channels in your body. And when you're exposed to radiation, uh, calcium channels get screwed up. You have calcium releases. And you have voltage-gated calcium channels that get messed with. And you have heart attack. You have stroke. You have fibrillation. Right? fibrillation or whatever, you have convulsions, you have tachycardia, you have all these problems, loss of control, vocal cords, memory loss, you go into shock, and you, you just, you get crippled, it's like a little EMP blast for your body, and um, they used it on me, then they said, that they actually said something too, they said, you're being set up to look psychotic, and like you spy for the Statesman Journal, DNA major spies for the CIA, and then that's when they said you're being set up to look psychotic, right? And so it was all because I was going to the media and hiring a trying to hire an attorney and different stuff. I was trying to do to get the security video checked. And I was it was every day that I was fighting this. And things were happening. Staff were beating me up. They were violent towards me. And they, they were setting me up, okay? And uh, it was used on me. And then they kept using it on me. It's Once you're flagging the system of energy, you can't stop it. Just goes right to your body. It's flooding your body all the time. They're doing things to you, massaging you, heating you, hurting you, torturing you. They'll create a little energy bar in your anus, right in your anus space, and make it all cold, and they'll just massage your anus with it and make it feel like pain. You know, so go through your anus in and out like you're being penetrated. They'll rape you. They'll force ejaculations. They'll simulate massage on your dick, okay? They'll put pressure on your brain. They'll smash your brain with radiation. Uh, they'll hurt your tissue. They'll damage your ears. They'll damage your eyes. They'll massage your eyes and your tissue with this shit and hurt you. And your body will get fucked up. Like mine did. And then over time, your body just gets hard and tight and swollen. And it'll just keep fucking you up and won't let you free. And all this technology is patented, man. They have patents for this shit. To imping a person's body with signals intelligence from... Satellites and radar. There's a patent from Raytheon for that. And it talks about humans being targeted just like plans. You know how plans can be tracked with radar and there's a little little like blip on the screen that shows where all plans are? And guess what? Did you know there's more information behind that? They can physically image the plans remotely. 
That's why you could take a picture of a plane from a satellite and see it, right? So you could do that same thing with humans. So you see little blips of where they are, walking around in a building, Im image their bodies uh, in all these different frequencies, electromagnetic spectrum. It works through walls and uh, different objects can be penetrated. So they could see you through walls and get images of your genitals. If you're masturbating or you're having sex, they're watching you. Or you're taking a dump, they're watching you. Staff members used to laugh because they could hear me farting in my room and they're recording all this with this technology and I'm on the toilet and they were fucking secretly laughing about it. Like, there's a guy named Kelsey. He came out of the office laughing. It's all recorded. And he's going... <coughs> he heard me fart from way down the office when I'm on the toilet going to the bathroom and they're laughing. That's how they were controlling me with this surveillance. Okay? On 48B at State Hospital. That security video I requested for it all to be saved. And if they destroyed it, it's obstruction of justice. And uh, I have spoilage of evidence. And before I went in there, I got documents showing I had no mental illness. And while I was there, I have documents showing I had just depression, ADHD. That they're trying to bypass outside doctors who are protecting me from these fucking lunatics. And I was sexually abused by a staff member. Uh, there's a big criminal scandal goes with it with different sc staff members and union members involved. Protecting Bonita Tucker, who... Helped her patient lover escape and another patient. There's drug smuggling, bolt cutter smuggling, contraband smuggling, hacksaw blade smuggling. Gino Pobisi is another patient involved. David Anderson was the, the patient lover who I knew since the beginning of their relationship. I saw them doing things illegally. I told the state all about it before the escape plots even happened. Okay? And they didn't do shit to help me. And uh, I got all that, all those details on my site. Of course... No single document actually documents all the good, juicy details that are just wonderfully omitted from the state's records. And it was all done to kind of hide the scandal because they're lack of liability insurance, okay? They, they didn't do a big investigation to figure all this out. They have records, though, showing staff were paid money to help, like different RNs and security members and stuff. Guess what? None of those people got arrested or fired or nothing because they covered it up. And they tried to do that with Bonnie and Tucker until she got in trouble again. 2008 for marrying David by phone and sending him morphine, amphetamine, and ML. Okay. And uh, they were letting her drive by the hospital, flash her tits, giving them special treatment. They let him beat me up because she, they basically knew that she was being protected and I was a danger to them doing all this because I knew. And so they let David beat me up. She would tell him to beat me up. It was all to make me look like shit and um, she was angry. She basically knew that I knew. And so she would tell him to target me. That's the way that worked. And so when she found out that I was still around, that's what happened. And the different members, social workers, psychologists, floor staff, they were involved. They were just protecting David Anderson. They came after me, be, you know, let me get beat up. Different threats were coming from staff. And then that's when I started to pick up on about I was being spied on and stuff. A lot of this happened on recorded hospital units like You'll see pictures of me getting beat up. You'll see video and audio of it. And the, the pictures of my wounds, you'll see really, I, you know, big blue, purple wounds on my chest and arms. They they won't give me those pictures. I made several requests. They did take pictures. Um, there are staff saying that they're going to make sure everyone knew about me. I was going to be taken care of. And what I'm talking about is they, they were going to have me beat up. And they were going to have me back in their control in no time, they used to say. They called me a bitch. They'd call me a masturbator, an antisocial. they they make false claims about me. They would, they, they fucking sabotage my release. It was pr approved in 2005. I've got those documents. I mean, how did things go from my release being approved to all this different stuff that they were doing? That's, that's in the record. You can see that something happened. I mean, why did I spend all those years there? After my release was approved, something wasn't going on, you know, and they, they really tried hard and I put all the best evidence I had of this on my site, you know, just the fact that their staff were caught in crimes is enough to discredit them and their shit because nobody wants to have their system exposed for corrupt shit and crimes and, you know, and you know, they'd rather protect their system and keep it running so that nobody 
Nobody has to shut it down, even if it's corrupt from top to bottom. And this is not even the first time this type of stuff has happened. Um, back in 1994, 2004, there were children there at a children's unit. They had to shut that down because they had 10 years of sex abuse scandals getting covered up. And it's the same type of thing. It was, it was literally an effort to cover it up. Uh, and a girl kills herself. She'd been raped several times by a staff. Different girls that were getting raped and abused. And they had predators there that knew how to do it. And managers protecting it. And you would be retaliated against if you tried to expose it as an employee. Or, and, you know, so that stuff happens in this place. It's crazy. And I've got the Oregonian article on that. And the only reason we know about those things is because somebody accidentally put some details about this in a public record when someone made a, a records request. And it was apparently sealed information put in the wrong box, in the wrong file. And someone made the request and got that information. And that's the same thing that happened in 2007 when a newspaper went to the store, State Hospital and made a request uh, for information. A state employee, apparently in security, accidentally handed the Statesman Journal information that the hospital was trying to keep secret. And staff members, I heard them talking about this on other units. They're that organized. They know that security did this, and everyone in the hospital knows. And um, different members were talking about this on 40AC. Okay? I know what goes on in that place. All right? So these different members, of course, were like... I'm just talking about... Um, well, I don't actually have anything more to say about it. So, DOG... DOG the matrix it's everywhere it's in place they've got the same type of stuff from the matrix um, and they're working on technology that can slave us all mentally just like in the matrix that's what else uh, DARPA and is a basic and brain initiative from Obama they they basically are falsely saying that all this new technology and study of the brain is to learn how to treat mental illness because that's the way they fund it covertly um, it's really about mind control, and they're they're further uh, developing their mind control weaponry, and like uh, UCFF has got a contract to develop a chip that's supposed to treat PTSD, but the chip is actually going to be able to control everything inside the person's brain, and putting the chips on a person, you can make them forget things, you uh, make their emotions change, you can uh, alter their reality and who they are with this chip. Sure, it'll treat PTSD because it controls everything that they think and feel and know. And that's the secret that they're going for. And this technology, once it's made, uh, is just just as bad as what was in the Matrix, controlling each individual person, not with, just with drugs, not with just radar systems, but chips and things that they're going to be able to do to people, Okay. And they could take a memory out, put a memory back in, put a different memory in. Um, that, that's what they're, they're getting to do. Uh, and this is back. Dr. Michio Kaku's talked about that. That feature of being able to take a memory out or put a memory in. It's really that possible. And the synthetic telepathy stuff and the pulling out thoughts for surveillance. It's all here today. And Michio Kaku talks about that in his book future of mind. Dr. Robert Duncan's got a cool book on it, though. It's been out longer than his book. Uh, it's called Project Soul Catcher Volume 2. It's pretty good. It's all real. And he's been out there talking about this since 2006 or longer. Dr. Robert Duncan. That's a guy from the government who worked on this. He interviewed victims. He knew it was being used on the public. And uh, he helped develop a lot of it. He's worked on projects for Everybody, okay? He designed things. He designed technology for the NSA. He designed technology for the CIA. He designed it for the Navy. Um, he worked and stuff for in, in Iraq, the passive and acoustic, or arrays for tracking sniper rifle shots. He worked on uh, the satellites that track your breath and heart rate from space. He worked on the license plate tracking from space. 
He worked on integrating the databases, state, local, and federal, and military, and all that. He worked on that. He worked on submarine tracking passive acoustic rays, and that's passive and active acoustic rays. He's went to secret Navy bases. He knows that the Navy and Air Force run a large chunk of this weapon system. And, of course, they run the NSA, and they run, you know, they run... I don't even know how these organizations truly integrate. I just know they're all the freaking same. <laughs> they're all the fucking same. Signals intelligence to NSA. See, it's all about signals interception remotely and satellites and radar and stuff, okay? Um... And then inside the NSA, I saw people with Air Force and Navy stuff on their jackets. They're the ones running the NSA. Different, different organizations, people come into that place. The DAA tortured a lot of people. Read, read their Wikipedia page. It talks about them torturing the fuck out of people with gay music and women, sending women in to interrogate men. Different games are playing. Oh my god. And look at the torture stuff that happened in Guantanamo Bay, man. Those guys are getting fucked up. Man, the military is dangerous. That's, that stuff is being applied to the public, though, like me. I was targeted when I caught them spying at the state hospital, man. They used all of their sick, twisted shit on me. Every single fucking thing. The worst torture you could go through. And it's worse because they had technology to go in and tear my mind apart and activate and turn things off and beat things up and remove all my childhood memories and remove my freaking, you know, all the important things in my mind and just leave me a swollen, demented mess after the beating was done. Never stopping. They're beating my demented brain in. They just want to beat me up, dude. That's what they've done to me. And now I'm going to die young and I cannot get any of the cool things back that I want. I had or want. Like just living the world and having just the normal, simple pleasures of feeling like you feel if you've never been hurt, right? And you go out and just stand in the forest and you, you have all those great sensations. You have sensations and you feel the world and you see it and you think about it. And you have, you, you, you stand the writer paper and you write artistically just like I used to. Now I can't. And, uh, and I can't hardly use words. I can't control anything. And I'm all fucked up. And it doesn't matter that I told people what was happening to me and all this. And I had information and evidence about it. They failed me all. They, every level, they failed me. And there's people that were involved. And that's, that's what sucks. There was people involved who were controlling me. And they're supposed to be the ones helping me. They were... There's a conflict of interest there. There's people that know about them. You can't get rid of them. They're working in the system. In the public defender's office, attorney's office. There was attorneys to state hospital. Harris Monorazzo. Disability Rights Oregon. These corrupt fuckers who worked with the DOJ. And knew what was happening. And deliberately shunned me. And helped cover this up. But when you go out and you... You got the simple pleasures of just listening to music and how good it feels and the bass and the cool way it sounds. My brain barely hears that anymore. My ears are swollen and fucked up. And I used to be an audiophile, okay? I took great care of my hearing. I listened to techno music growing up. And I had headphones. I always listened to at low volume. I, I was a coder. I would program things better than other people because I wasn't an idiot. That, and I understood what I was doing. And I was a really fancy, great Merck script coder and PHP, you know, and I was just beginning, and but I still knew everything. And I used to sit in help channels and help people write scripts. And, uh, you know, someone says, hey, how do I do this? I'm like, here you, and I'm not just giving them a structure for the manual. I'm like, here, let me write a new identifier for you to do that. And they're like, <laughs> you know, and I wrote a cool a little script that, would distribute denial of service, or actually not distribute denial of service, but denial of service Windows 98 Millennium Edition. And back in the year 2000 and 2001, I could crash hundreds of computers on IRC. It was cool. And I did that. 
And I, I could have crashed hundreds of thousands of computers because if, if I automated it and connected to a bunch of servers, I could crash computers that way. Anyway, I, I can't do that anymore. My brain's all fucked up. And when I program, I'm supposed to remember every page of text. You know, when I'm working with thousands of lines of code or something, I can't remember anything but the, the character I'm staring at. And I'm like, fuck, I, I can't even see the code. My brain doesn't store the code. The pages, the thousands of lines of code I used to know, and I could jump around and do things really fast. I can't do that now. I'm all slow. And that's called um, chronic traumatic encephalopathy because they beat my brain in so much and they use drugs on me psychotropic weapons um and it was weapons to fuck me up to cover up crime of staff right and people um and the the technology that was used on me was very very bad and dangerous and me medical care was denied from me right i didn't get neurological care i didn't get physical rehab okay and so i got really bad brain damage right now every day i'm living it's been six years of targeting with this technology and I've had my brain beaten over and over. I get raped. I have SSI sexual dysfunction, post SSI RI sexual dysfunction. It's where they had me on so many antidepressants, Effexor, Wellbutrin, Adderall. And when I went off these, I had severe reactions with having my muscles clamped down a little bit and uh, brown urine. And uh, I was fucked up, man. It's all because they put me on these drugs when I didn't need to be on them just to cover up all the shit they were doing with this technology and uh, different events at the hospital, right? And uh, I went off them after two years and then I had uh, orgasm problems. That's what's post SSRI, sexual dysfunction is. And you'll have issues including pain and damage. And they might've done this to me with the technology. They can, they could have uh, made my uh, brain more sensitive to, to whatever uh, was going on, like orgasms. And so then they started to rape me with this technology. Massaging my genitals, causing muscle clamp downs, brain squeezing, brain pressure increases. And I just lay there like a swollen, fucked up mess. And they'll keep massaging my muscles with radiation. Like a retarded bunch of fucking freaks that want me to die. And they do. They don't care. And so, 700 orgasms later, having radiation. I can also basically vibrate my brain with this. And it's more like a forceful energy. It'll kind of like it's beating my brain up it's just going back and forth really fast shaking me they'll use that on me i'll wake up in the morning they're using it on me in my sleep they're using it on me when i'm awake you know i can't you know oh do i move to a chair it's in another room or i go somewhere else i get on a train well the damn technology just refocuses their their damn little emitters where it's focusing boom it's still getting me and then i saw lawsuits and these stupid fuckers don't help me and my attorneys don't help me. And they leave me there to die. And they don't use the damn resources to investigate this. You know, and there's people out there talking about it. And there's patents covering this. There's, there's been Washington Post articles, Wired.com articles. Okay? They call the voice of God weapon. Defense contractors call some of this technology that shit. And they call it directed energy weapons. They call it electromagnetic weapons. They call it psychotronic weapons. They call it uh, electronic warfare. They call it... Uh, Energy weapons, you know, they know it exists. The government, the military has it, and there's enough public information about it that's real. How come no one can figure it out? How come no one can do anything to stop it? It doesn't make sense. And there's been articles in, the, like I said, Washington Post. Um, there's been stuff on TV, in the radio. Millions and millions of people have heard about it. There's books, okay? Wired.com writes articles about this all the time, especially in 2008 and 2007. Lots of articles. People have heard about it. Nobody's done anything to shut it down. God. So I, I was a victim. I didn't need to be. It could have all been shut down, you know, a long time ago. 2008, nope, wasn't shut down. Still operational. They fucking target me. Fuck. 2014, still operational. And there's still people complaining about being targeted all around. And still not getting shut down. Thousands of letters wrote to FBI. Thousands of letters wrote to senators and congressmen. People running around. Oh, I'm being targeted. Help, 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 help. Nobody helps. Fuck. 
they murdered us. Society murdered us and fucked us up and let the government do it because they fucking knew better. The people with skills, the people who are attorneys, people who are judges, people who are police, <laughs> these people fucking did this. And it was all for no reason. They're stupid asses.